morning, I'm Mahia Lenny Richardson. Today we have the opportunity to share the story of the newly elected Imperial Potentate of Shriners International. We all want to learn a little more about him, his family, his career, the things that are important to him, and how he plans to serve you during his Imperial year. But first, let's learn a brief history of this Shriner. Gary James Burgensky was born in Madison, Wisconsin and lived in a small rural town until he finished high school. His family then moved to Florida. In 1985, Gary bought J&J Metro Moving and Storage, a company he has owned for 32 years. He credits this company and thanks his staff for making it possible for him to achieve his dreams with Shriners International. In 2005, Gary served as the illustrious potentate of Bahia Shriners in Orlando, Florida. He and his Lady Anne made a great team as Bahia Shriners celebrated its 50th anniversary. Gary is a successful businessman, a speaker, an author, a true family man, and a committed Mason and Shriner who believes in giving back. Today, he will take another big step in his life. Let's talk with him personally and get his thoughts. So you're about to step into the highest office of the worldwide fraternity of Shriners International and the world's greatest philanthropy, Shriners Hospitals for Children. How are you feeling? I have to tell you that in my wildest dreams, I never would have thought that this opportunity would have come upon me where I'd be leading an organization with 250,000 members, 6,000 employees, 22 hospitals, spread over a number of countries and numerous time zones. And I feel very humbled that the the nobility would give me this opportunity, but I feel very excited that to have the opportunity to lead these great organizations. On a personal note, it became relevant to me not long ago, a story about my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather was born in the late 1800s, and in the early 1900s, he and some of his friends thought it would be a good idea to jump a ride on a freight train. And he fell off and uh, was run over by the train. On the way to the hospital in a horse-drawn ambulance, he knew that he had lost his legs because he could feel them vibrating separately from his body. He had prosthetic legs then for the rest of his life. And I never met my grandfather, but somehow I have to feel that based on what we are doing here, that he's looking down upon his grandson with great pride for what Shriners Hospitals does, and I know that he would be very proud of what we're doing. So tell us about your journey the past 10 years and how you've traveled and trained mm -hmm. yourself for this important role. Well, it's been a whirlwind experience, I can tell you that, to uh, serve this organization in the capacity that we do. Uh, we've had the opportunity to meet so many people and go so many places. And I have to tell you that probably the thing that stands out the most is the opportunity to see the miracles of what Shriners Hospital has done for the children that we serve. Uh, Time and time again, meeting the patients and doing things with them is, is really outstanding. To be part of the Shrine family, it's one of the most fulfilling experiences I've had other than family. All the good that we do, helping the children, it's wonderful. As Gary is installed as Imperial Potentate, we look forward to a challenging year and also a very rewarding year, traveling around, visiting the hospitals, seeing the people that we have met along our 10-year line, revisiting with them as we visit the other locations. He's a wonderful family man. He's a fun person. As far as a leader, if he starts something, he's gonna follow it through all the way to the end. He's great at getting people to uh, work with him, you know, to help him. They want to help him. I think that in itself makes him a great leader. I know you've had so many amazing experiences with Shriners Hospitals for Children, but is there one experience that is your most memorable? Well, as far as patients, several years ago there was a couple of little children that were burned very badly in China. To me, it's a heroism story because the little girl went back into the burning house to get her brother. And by the time she got him out, they were both very, very seriously burned. They treated him first in China, but then they were sent to one of our hospitals. And I had the opportunity, uh, after they had been there for quite some time, uh, being treated for their burns. Uh, they received prosthetic legs from our hospitals. 
And one day I was sitting in that hospital and the two of them were practicing up and down the hallways with their brand new prosthetic legs, learning how to walk all over again. And as I watched them, I was sitting there by myself and they came over to me and one of them sat up next to me. And they looked at me and I couldn't speak Chinese and they couldn't speak English. And in their burned little faces, I could tell in their eyes that they were saying, thank you, Shiner. That really touched me and uh, I've, I just always remember that one. It makes you a little emotional just thinking about it, doesn't it? It, it does. So many people know that you and Anne have a large family. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about them. Well, we have six children. We're kind of like the Brady Bunch, <laughs> I guess. I have three children and Anne has three. Uh, when we got together, we both had custody of the children and they all merged in much like the, the Brady Bunch. Here's a story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely kids. All of them had hair of gold like their mother, the youngest one all smiles. Here's a story of a man named Gary who was busy with three kids of his own. There were four living all together, yet they were all alone. Till the one day when the lady met this fella, and they knew that it was much more than a hunch that this group should somehow form a family. That's the way we all became the Bergy Bunch. The Bergy Bunch. The Bergy Bunch. That's the way we became the Bergy Bunch. That video was definitely funny and I, I think it, it, it fits perfectly because we were that total mix of, of two families coming together. Everybody I think still almost felt like we were brothers and sisters. It was good to get into a family like that, you know, and Gary's very family oriented, so uh, with my mom being really family oriented as well, I think it worked out, worked out great. Manage those kids and uh, they're all older now and they've given us uh, 11 grandkids. But I can tell you that having the six children and managing that and trying to do this job as well as an imperial officer uh, brought with it, it its challenges. And our children, our grandchildren, have had to give up many family times. I think they're very proud of what we're doing. It's an incredible sacrifice for Shriners International and Shriners Hospitals for Children. It, it really is, but at the same time, it's extremely rewarding. My dad is one of those people, I think, that anything he kind of puts his mind to, it's gonna get done. He loves making people laugh. He loves uh, building relationships with people. Um, he hates gossip. He's one of those people that, you know, he can walk in a room with, you know, 30 people that he doesn't know, and by the end of it, he's got them all laughing. That's the type of leadership that Shriners need. You know, they need people that are going to build people up that are going to do what's best for the kids, you know, for the charities, for all of that stuff. Talk more about that special person by your side who's really a rock. <laughs> well, that would be Anne. Anne really is a special person. In my mind, she's, uh, she's an angel. She has managed the family part of our relationship very well as we've both gone through this line. Uh, Anne has been very instrumental in helping other members outside of our family. She keeps me in line, to, to tell you the truth. And very often there's sometimes, you know, when both of us at times um, kind of feel like we're overloaded, you know, there's just too much going on, the calendar's just too busy. And at that time, Anne will kind of remind me and herself that uh, we really just need to go visit one of the hospitals again and charge our battery up and uh, get ready to keep on going. She's looking at the opportunity to introduce her program, her First Lady's program. And I can tell you that uh, it's from her heart what she's going to be delivering for that program. It means a lot to her, and she's worked extremely hard to put together a program that will be relevant and it will be very good for our organization. And what a wonderful couple that they really are. I mean, they're just quality people. Gary's very motivated, very focused. 
Uh, he wants Shriners International to be extremely successful and all of us join him in that effort. When people think about Shriners, mm -hmm. they think about the guys with the red fezes or the clowns right. or the men in the parades. Mm -hmm. What would you like people to know about Shriners? I really think that it's about the relationship that you build with other Shriners and their ladies as well. The opportunity to work together, network together, but it goes way beyond that uh, after you're a Shriner for a while and the fact that you build lifelong friends. You have the opportunity to do things with people that you wouldn't normally do. And I can remember uh, an instance well, about 12 years ago when I was being ready to be installed as the potentate of Bihia Shriners. And I asked for uh, our motorcycle group, which I was a member of, to help in assisting do an escort for Ann and I to the uh, temple for the installation. I asked, I couldn't believe how many of them showed up to do this with us. It was just a really great feeling for us to know that they would all step it up and come out and help and do it. One of the questions that might be a little difficult to ask, mm -hmm. but it, it's worth asking, are there any disappointments for you during your time on the Imperial Line? There are. Uh, and probably the biggest one I would say is what I would describe as our failure to correct our membership problem. And it seems to me that we have developed all the tools, we have everything that will work, and for some reason we just can't get our membership engaged enough to become excited and, and turn membership around. So if there was really one disappointment that I have, it's that. But there's also some excitement going on in the fact that we are expanding into other countries. We're flying more flags on our stage because of the nations that we represent. So there's growth in that area. And I have every hope, every hope, that soon we turn this membership loss situation that we've been experiencing around to a positive, something we can all get excited about. What do you see in the future of Shriners International and what's your vision? One was to be the, the greatest uh, fraternity and philanthropy in the world and to expand on our communication needs and I feel like we've done a pretty good job on that. The other one I felt like that we needed to find a way to reach into the poorest of countries to give those children the expert care that we have. And we have actually done that in the last 10 years where we have had the opportunity to go into those countries. And I think that could really become uh, something we can really be proud of in the future. Gary is the most positive, uh, he's a motivator, he's a motivational person, he's done some motivational speaking, he's very upbeat, he's someone you want to follow. There are certain people that are elected to an office or appointed to a position you go, Holy cow, this is great. I want to be part of that. People are uh, interested in helping him because he makes them feel good about it. That's, that's the bottom line. So he is a good leader because he inspires people to do things and to enjoy doing it. Let's talk a little bit more about Shriners Hospitals for Children. Mm -hmm. And do you have another memorable mm -hmm. experience that you can share? I had the opportunity, Ann and I did, to meet President Carter. And we had dinner for about two and a half hours. And at the end of the dinner, by the time we got done, we shook hands and agreed that we were going to try to find a way for Shriners Hospitals and the Carter Center to partner. And we were going to keep our eye on one thing, helping more kids. And we've been very successful in doing that. And President Carter has turned out to be a great partner for us. That's an incredible partnership. It really is. Well, I would like to congratulate Gary and Ann Bergeski for taking over the top spot in, uh, in the great Shriners organization. And I'm very proud of the fact that the Shriners and the Carter Center work very closely together. Uh, we look forward to the future with great anticipation and hope the relationship will grow closer as time goes on. So thank you very much for letting me participate in this congratulatory uh, comment. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. So speak to us a little bit about some of the patients and families uh, that you've met mm -hmm. over the years. We've had the opportunity to meet many of them. And uh, of course, in the, all the different hospitals that we have and uh, the dif different disciplines that they have. We've seen children with very extreme conditions that we've taken care of and children with some minor ones. But I have to tell you that the children that we have the opportunity to meet really are the inspiration that I think 
not only keeps Ann and I going, but keeps Shriners going. Any final thoughts that you'd like to share? Holding the position of Imperial Potentate is, is really just one person. It takes a team, a large team, to do the things that we want to accomplish. And through the Imperial Potentate and the van and all the temples and chapters that we have, uh, if we all work together, there are great things that we can do. I feel very fortunate to have this position, and I would hope that I never disappoint anyone while holding that position, that I do my best to move uh, the organizations forward in a positive manner. And I'm sure you will.